Oh, hi, good morning. Today we have a pretty morning here in Helsinki. The theme is chance and we have Jere here at talking. Come with me. So, ready? Here we go. I'm gonna read this poem in the beginning. Instead of placing flowers on the gravestone of your loved ones, give them today when you still have chance to see their smile. Um, this poem is um, really important to me, as it was, wow, well, I get goosebumps, but I, um, I got it from my really good friend, and there's a really sad story involved, but I'll get to this later. Um, and I'll, I'll, you can actually um, ask me about it as well later on. So, um, so I'm Jere Hietala. I, I work in, uh, at the moment I work in three different companies. I have my own advertising photography company called Jere Hietala Photography. Um, is it LTD in, in English? It's OU in Finnish. Um, so that's, that's what I started already back in 2007 and it's still running today, um, even though there's a nice recession going on here. <laughs> but it's a, it's a, it's a good, good, good company. It's, a, it's, been, it's been going really like uh, stable. Um, then another company that I, that I work with is uh, it's, it's called Taylor Frame. Uh, it's a startup company that I, I started. Um, um, uh, it was like December uh, 2013, so just over a year, basically. Um, but it's a, it's a company where we have three different partners. There's uh, uh, me, I own 50% of that company. And then there's a, a, a company called Grano, which is a big printing company here in Finland. And then there's a, 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 a private uh, sector involved as well. Uh, Tera Ojanpera, who used to work for Nokia, is also involved. Um, so that's basically my my background so you know um, um, a bit of what I do but um, I want to thank you this um, for this opportunity um, it's, a, it's a great great thing to be here even though I, I'm not uh, it, it's not like my my main thing to do to have these speeches but I, I certainly appreciate this um, I hope to give you some stories on 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 the chances I have received in my life um, I definitely think that they are the um, the reason why why I got what I got and all the positive and all the negative things as well. But that's part of life, I think. All right. So um, all these pictures I just took it from my uh, my Facebook. That's that's the social media that I use the most. But it was kind of funny. I actually. Um, told you honest that I haven't I haven't done a research to I mean like in me before so it was kind of fun to see all these years and put them together and uh, in these pictures um, um, there's like a nice um, like a brief uh, collection of things that that's been happening um, in the past let's say 10 years but there's a lot of good things there's some great people um, great countries, um, just, and like I said, great uh, successes and some failures as well. Um, I think more failures, but if you take 100 punches in your face, you get to land one back if, if you do boxing. So that's kind of metaphor right there. But, you know, chances are if you take all the chances you are given, you are going to achieve great things. That's my kind of motto right there. So um, what is chance for me? Let me uh, open up for you. Um, so what does it require for chances to um, uh, present themselves um, uh, in your life? I think it's um, Getting chances is determined work towards something new. Um, you can't you can't just 
um, stay put and wait for something to happen, uh, I, I think you are the um, leader of your life. So basically, you just need to know where you want to go. Um, there's a nice um, example on, on how to search for new things that I heard a while ago. Um, back in the days, Columbus days, um, before he, um, he was sent to, actually when he, before he wanted to go and, and find new worlds, um, he was said, you are never gonna find anything out there. There's just ocean, and just, you're gonna drop from here. Um, but he said, if I'm not ready to lose the shore, how can I ever know that there's no new lands? So that for me is quite, you know, well put. It just sums it up. So you you gotta go. Uh, you gotta. You need to want it. You need to own it. You know your your goals, so to say. And also when when um, when you get these chances, you need to have courage to take that new path. Um, sometimes you are given that magnificent opportunity to do something new, but in the very last minute, you just kind of, I mean, get freaked out. I don't want to do that. Wow, it's going to mix up my life. I'm so stable right now. I don't want to go too far with this. So go 100, 110% or 110 even, not 90. It's, it's not going to work. Uh, I mean, not for me, that is. Um, and by the way, these are all my opinions, so I'm not telling you what to do because I'm not, a, I'm not uh, the best, <laughs> maybe the best sample of like a successful kind of people. So, um, like I said earlier, I think um, you need to know what you're aiming at. So think, um, think ahead. Um, have your goals somewhere beyond your uh, imagination, basically. I mean, don't reach the stars, reach the, uh, the whole universe. So basically, if, if you only go to, to the stars, you're still far away. I mean, it's, it's not just some small thing you accomplished. It's, uh, it's still uh, like more than you wanted. And um, um, I like the saying, you reap what you saw. Uh, that's a, I think it's a biblical metaphor, but um, that's basically how I see it. It's um, you definitely get what um, what you want. That's uh, also uh, there's a law called law of attraction. I'm not sure if you're familiar with it, but I love it. It's basically it says um, if you have your um, whole mind in one in one um, dream, for example, or one chance that you want to get, you will get it, that's for sure. Because every day when you're out there, let's say you go to a cafe and there's a nice um, bartender, so you can be a nice back. I mean, you can, you, can, you can be the most polite person in the world and someday you just might get it back. You never know who this person is and it might reward you one way or another. So basically, if you focus all your actions and your thoughts towards something that you want, you will get it, I'm sure. At least it's, uh, it's been working for me. Um, so um, let me drink some water. It's hard to speak English with dry mouth. This one right here um, is from the Ellen DeGeneres show um, that, I, that I went to with, with, uh, with Sarah. And if, if some of you don't know who Sarah is, uh, Sarah, is, Sarah Forsberg is also known as Smokahannes. So um, that's her artist name. And uh, it's just a freaky uh, story how she ended up using that name, but we're not gonna go there. Um, it's just weird. Um, so <laughs> she is one of the most energetic um, young women I ever uh, had a chance to meet, and I'm, I'm, I'm really glad I, I got to meet her. But just to tell you a story real quick, um, 
what happened before this actual um, photo and this uh, TV show. Um, her uncle um, is my good friend. Um, I've known him since forever, and we've, we have a really close family um, uh, connections as well. But um, I was actually at the uh, Emma Gala, which is like a, uh, like a music gala in Finland, and uh, I just got a phone call from Johannes saying, um, have you heard um, about Smokehannes? And I was like, yeah, sure. I mean, one girl, whatever, how many languages I can even remember. And uh, I was like, that girl is amazing. We should just go and take her talent to, so, I, mean, I mean, internationally. I mean, everybody should hear about this girl. I mean, of course, everybody already knew I, I mean, over the internet, but physically, we need to take her out. I mean, she's not like your typical um, girl from Pietrasari, which is like one of the smallest cities in Finland. So we decided to uh, collaborate with Johannes and, and just start working on her, you know, publicity, basically. Um, I started making phone calls. Uh, Johannes actually asked me to make some phone calls to the U.S. because I had some connections already because of my advertising work. And um, so I just started calling like, like crazy. I had no idea how to do that work. <laughs> like, wow, I just, I was, you know, you can imagine me calling to these, like, broadcast companies. They were, like, laughing their asses off. <laughs> but um, every, every one of them realize that I'm serious about this. I, I have something to show. Like, please just let me, let me come and meet you guys. And it, it ended up in a way that there she is at the Ellen DeGeneres show. That's freaking amazing. I mean, wow. And then she got signed to Capitol Records, which is also quite nice. I mean, <laughs> Frank Sinatra was signed there. So, and in our last meeting with Capital, actually, Steve Barnett, who's their CEO, said, I've had great feeling about an artist two times in my life. Of course, I was like, well, who? So <laughs> he was like, well, Adele was pretty strong. I was like, good. And, and Coldplay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and and, and, and now, now I have a great feeling about Sarah. I was like, wow. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm sure uh, you are now pretty convinced, so. But, you know, right now we're in a situation that we are uh, waiting for the first single to come out. I, I hope it's good. I, I know nothing about music, but I, I know that she can sing. But you just wait for it. Okay, another example of just going forward. I started as a school photographer as when I was 19. So I took pictures of classes and people. I mean, small kids. Well, people in school, how, how, you, how you say it. And um, I, I had this idea how I could combine, I mean, later when I was an advertising photographer, I remembered all those shoots um, in, in, in the school. and. Uh, I kind of realized that there, there is nothing, there ha, there's no change whatsoever in school photography since like 70s. So I thought, hmm, could I make it like a bit more interesting, a bit more visual? So I called my friend who I work with in, in, uh, in post-production post with my advertising work and we came up with this concept which is now in a situation um, uh, where, when, when you actually go to this um, photography se session, it's like a photo booth that we have. When you go there, it only takes us um, 30 seconds um, to take a picture of you, uh, take it out from the green screen, and replace the background with kind of background, I mean, anything you want, basically. We can put any, any elements we want on the foreground, um, and, and Concept like, concepts like this uh, are pretty old, but the way we do it, it's not old. It's, it's 
I would say it's the only concept in the world because our it, the the, uh, the the cutout, the roto process, what they call it, right here. Uh, that's me right there. Uh, yeah. So uh, it's it's really accurate. It's hair accurate. I mean, even though you, if you if I'd have like a white blonde afro, which you can imagine right now, uh, I mean, every single hair will come out, and it's it. it it, it, it'll not have the bleed, the green screen bleed, or anything like that. The colors, the Photoshop work, it's, it's, it's all done in 30 seconds. And it's sent directly to your phone. So it's, it's just freaking amazing. We got this picture from Marvel. And when I started this company a year ago, approx, they said you will never ever get any footage from these film companies. This was, uh, when we showed our demo, they send us the original layer version from X-Men movie poster. That's freaking amazing. So that was our first gig for Mountain Dew. They, they had like a um, kind of private show for their customers. All right, so I'm behind schedule right now. Tell me when I have 15, so I go slow now. Um, so why create chances? Um, like I said earlier, you know, when, when people are in a situation where things does not need to change, we are usually, you know, we, we, we like to lay back and just enjoy it. Um, for me, it doesn't work. I go crazy if I just sit back. So um, I like to do things all the time. Um, but then vice versa, sometimes life can be in a situation where things are just out of control in chaos. For example, if you are suffering from mental illness, depression, something like that, um, that, that is one of those situations where you really need changes. You really need to figure out a way how to make yourself feel even a bit better, right? I mean, at least I did when, when I was uh, suffering from it. And uh, what I did was I intentionally tried to make this change for me so I could change depression into energy. You know, kind of use that negative, like blood hungry dog or whatever you call it, into energy. So, pain into energy, right? Um, so it's a, it's a transformation from chaos into a chance and um, I don't think there's anything more satisfying than than saying farewell to these massive um, and, and painful um, feelings that you have and when you overcome something like this it just makes you super strong as a person uh, I mean after that it, there's nothing you you're not able that's at least what I think. It's, it's just like, oh, I broke my nail. You know, it's, wow, doesn't, I don't care. I <laughs> crashed my car, I don't care. You know, really, you know, I just, I just beat the shit out of depression. That's freaking awesome. So, you know, for me, I, I just wanted to put it out there because I think that's, a, that's the chance that people really uh, need. Okay. Um, so this one right here is one of my favorites, the highlight of this <laughs> speech. Um, I think I used to be a kind of person who had really like a self-centered ego. Um, I don't know how I ended up having that, but I was kind of like, I don't know, a bit like a shithead. So. Maybe I still am, uh, <laughs> but um, less. So, um, but I think, e even though I, I'm not self-centered anymore, I, I, I do not want to be part of masses. You know, I, I do not want to be like Mitt Cray, so to say. I, I wanna, I wanna have the whites and the, the, the deepest blacks and 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 strong red in my life. I, I, I want to live all the way, you know. 
So I'm going to read it from here because I think I had a really good um, idea here. So I think competition exists not because there is so many professionals, but because you're an extension to it. Chances you take equal stories and stories make distinguished characters. Make any sense? For me it did. Um, no applause. <laughs> but so I think this is really important. At least for me it was and it is. So chance to make stories. Here's a good example. Uh, sorry. This guy right here is one of the most amazing guys I ever met. He used to be a special forces soldier for South African Army for like 15 years. So he was in like three wars, survived. He was a like a tracker specialist. So he spent all his life almost in the nature, in the wilderness. After that, he wanted to do something good and not just, you know, well, what you do in war. So he, he wanted to dedicate his life to animals. He worked at the Kruger Bark in South Africa for many years as a, as a guide and he is now the only person in the world who has survived two alligator attacks, elephant attacks, rhino attacks, and lion attacks. He did lost his arm and half of his like muscle tissue on that side. But wow, does he have stories to tell? No masses, this guy. I can tell you, I was like, shaking leaf when I met this guy, it's so much something, you know, just freaking blows your mind away. I was like, whoa, I'm like a just small kid, but chance to be unaffected, real. Um, another story, um, I ended up doing this project with Rovio actually a couple of years ago. I had this, um, had this um, kind of idea in my head that I could maybe bring world-class athletes and and make them like na make nice posters and have them delivered all over the world. So we ended up having Amazon from US and HP US, and we had like print-on-demand kind of service where people could order these prints all over the world. I hooked these athletes up. I called them. That was weird, but we got players from Los Angeles Kings, from Lakers. That was amazing, but the project went down. I lost money. Nice. Good thing, anyway. Okay, so, um, like I said earlier, there are things where we cannot affect with our own actions. Um, there are happenings in life, they can just happen. That's why I did this topic right there, random chances. Uh, I'll read from here again. These random and even risky chances might seem scary, so only few actually take the chance to see its treasures. My point here is, I mean, don't be scared, just go for it. What's the worst thing that could happen? I mean, you're not going to get killed unless it's like a, like a drug deal kind of chance in Mexico, but I mean, don't do that. I mean, if it's logical and there's a bit risk, just go for it. I mean, failure only makes you ready for your next chance, right? It just makes you more ready as a person. And um, give chance a chance. Um, too much activities in your life doesn't work, um, but I myself never plucked the chances just because they appeared a bit later than the others. So that's logical. I mean, wow, if, I, if I'm in three companies, I can be in four. If, you know, if I mix them, kind of, you know, make them one area. 
there's one story. I got offered a chance to make a music video. I had no experience. Okay, I had one experience, but it was like the shittiest music video ever. Um, so basically, I was a zero in music video directing. But I took the chance, and it ended up good. It ended up being one of the successes. We won the Emma, um, Emma Award, which is the, uh, it was the, uh, the best music video uh, 2014, so that was, that was a good thing. We got 9 million hits. Good thing. Uh, same thing here. I get offered to uh, have photography for Daniel Simon. Daniel Simon is a guy who actually made all the uh, spaceships for the Oblivion movie uh, with Tom Cruise. So um, when I got offered to have this photo photography session for Daniel, I said yes. I paid all the costs myself and only thing I got was bunch of pictures, but I think it's worth it. All right, we are closing to end here. Um, if I put everything together here, my uh, most important kind of uh, thoughts here. Uh, I'm going to cheat from here. Uh, my life is about creating, taking, and sometimes getting surprised by chances. Chances either work or do not work. But it doesn't matter which one it is because both make you more rich. Experience is richness. And I think it's not how long you live in this planet, but whether you make your time count and if you do good, that's the only thing that counts. So we do have a chance to leave a strong, positive legacy. And here is just a nice little list of the most important things, what I think happened to my life. Um, well, you can see it, I'm not going to go through the whole list, but I think we are, um, are we ready to take the Yes, we are. You can ask about these things as well if, if, if interested.